So in order to attain some socialist, utopian, wacko, predetermined racial quota, Harvard allegedly scored Asians lower on their personality scale. This despite, on average, the exceedingly high grades and test scores of these applicants. That is discrimination. And this is why affirmative action in every form is so wrong. Joining me now, the founder of the American Truth Project and Daily Ledger contributor, Barry Nussbaum. Barry, affirmative action, simply put, in my opinion, is anti-American. Uh, this republic is built on a, a certain fundamental foundation, legally speaking, and that's equal protection under the law. And it is against the law. It's, it's immoral to discriminate like this. Well, in this case, you're taking the most qualified candidates, Graham, on test scores, on essays, on grades, on academic achievement and you're disqualifying them on a subjective scale that Harvard invented basically to keep the Asian Americans out. They looked at 160,000 applications and these are qualified kids that should have gotten in and they were excluded for personality, for leadership, for courage and likability. In other words, they were discriminated against selectively by Harvard. It ought to be blind. You're qualified, you get in, regardless of your race, your gender, your weight, your nationality, or where you're from. Everything in this country ought to be based on merit. I mean, that's the foundation of this republic. The, the best, the cream of the crop rises to the top, you know, whether it's an admission to a university or a job or admission to this country should be based on merit. How, how good you are. Exactly. <laughs> that's it, I'm sorry, but that's it. And this is clear discrimination. Now, I love this, what President Trump did. Uh, he told the uh, employees, the government employees, the federal government employees, that essentially it's time, times have changed, and that the government now is on a budget. Boy, what a revolutionary concept that Democrats and Republicans in Washington, D.C. have not understood for over a generation. You don't have money, therefore you stop spending as much. And the backlash, Graham, is tremendous. As if Trump hates workers in the federal government and he's doing this to hurt them. I think it's a step in the right direction. Now I want to see the budget balanced, and after that, I want to see the debt paid down. Revolutionary concepts <laughs> that I'm still waiting to see happen out of Washington. He doesn't hate workers in the federal government. He loves this country, uh, and, and that's why he's making moves <laughs> like this. And if they don't like it, they can go find a job in the private sector. Uh, there's a healthy job market uh, out there right now. This is not healthy, though. Out of Florida, I exactly. hope this is an outlier, uh, Barry. The Congressman Ron DeSantis, who's running for governor on the Republican ticket, is down uh, a, a rather large amount uh, to his radical Democrat challenger. This is a guy who wants single payer, he wants to eliminate ICE, and he's talking about a 40% corporate tax. And massive increases in state spending. This fellow Gillum is a Bernie Sanders protege. I think he's up in the polls for two reasons, Graham. One, he's going to absolutely outspend everybody in the history of Florida to pass out the free stuff wagon. That sounds really good to people that want stuff for free. And number two, the comment that DeSantis made about monkeying up the budget is now calling him a racist in the eyes of many pundits. What's really amazing, Graham, right now is research is coming out that something like 50 politicians in the last decade have used the same term. White politicians, black politicians, Republican politicians, and Democrat politicians in the White House and all across the country. But now you call somebody a racist for using the exact same terms and it sticks and he doesn't know what to do to get that sticker off of him. He's gonna need to overcome that to get the independents to come aboard his platform in the next uh, couple of months. Yeah, but on policy, you know, he's dead on target. Floridians, they don't want an income tax. That's why so many people go to Florida, but this guy is capable of imposing uh, exactly that. And Floridians, they have a clear choice in November. It's, it's the Constitution or it's socialism. And we can only hope they can choose the Constitution. You got it. Barry, thanks. <laughs>